Hi everyone, I'm Cecily and welcome to my channel. This reading is for anyone whose sun, moon, or ascendant is in the beautiful sign of Taurus. So, Taurus, I've gone ahead and laid out your cards. Let's talk about exactly where you're at in your love life. So, um, Taurus, the first thing that actually came out this month is a representative of you. Um, it's the Page of Pentacles, right? It all represents Earth signs. Um, and it's basically saying that you're in a grounded place. You're in a place that's really good for you. Um, emotionally, you feel stable. You're in the upright position. That's saying a lot. It's basically saying that you are, you're happy, you're content. Um, <clears throat> but there are still things that are going on in your love life that are causing you a certain amount of stress or making you regret things. So, with you having this page of pentacles, it means that you're still climbing your way up the ladder in terms of love and self-confidence. Um, a page, a knight, a queen, and a king. A page is, a knight is about action, a queen is about feeling. Um, a king is about being at the top of the mountain, feeling like you have all of your everything you need, everything in your life is put together, in a sense. And when you have a page, it's basically saying you're at the beginning. Um, you know you're at the beginning. You are very much in the conversation of getting things done in your life that you actually want. And in terms of in a relationship, you feel, you feel kind of betrayed. Um, now, your challenge for this month is actually the Five of Swords, right? So the Five of Swords is wanting to win at all costs. It's your challenge for the month of August. Um, you feel, you feel like you want something um, and you're willing to do what it takes in order to get it. Um, also, this is an energy that's in your life with someone who's after you as well. Um, but Taurus, this is basically, what I'm seeing for you is I'm seeing that there's somebody that you've let go of or there's somebody that's no longer in your life. And for whatever reason, you really want this person to be there. You miss them, you feel like they might be the one. And there's a, there's a type of um, they've probably done something to you that was not the nicest thing. And even through all of that, you still have the grace to want them, to love them, to desire them. Um, and this five is there to say both of you have kind of taken this um, no holds bars attitude about it. And it's kind of created this distance between the two of you. Um, and both of you are unwilling to come to each other on a certain level. You know, it's creating this difficult time. Now, the person that you're with is somebody that's a little bit more established than you, somebody that's probably a little bit older, um, or um, even somebody that you respect a lot and that you look up to. But the person that you're dealing with is actually the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is all about emotion, um, because she's a queen, but the swords part is all about logic. So you take those two things together and it's basically saying this person has figured out that the relationship between the two of you, you're not good together. It's not that anything is wrong with you, which is I think the way you're taking it towards, you're saying, well, what's wrong with me? Why, 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 why aren't you in this just like I'm in this? Why aren't you trying to make this work just like I'm trying to make this work? You know this was a good relationship. You know how much I have to offer. You know all the things and the type of person that I am. I'm a wonderful, beautiful, warm, kind-hearted person. And this Queen of Swords is logical. This is somebody that's an Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini, um, <clears throat> or at least giving off that energy, um, or somebody that's cold towards you, somebody that's shut down, somebody that is um, now trying to distance themselves. Um, and and because of that, it's kind of um, put you in the situation where 
Taurus, you feel like personally um, that you know you're, you're kind of in a position where you're crying over spilled milk. Now, the Five of Cups, traditionally this card is somebody who is looking down at these three cups that they have, but two of them are spilled over. So basically what this is saying, Taurus, is this is saying this card is the you're an amazing person card. But right now you're not in a position to recognize how much of an amazing person you are because you're so focused on this Queen of Swords. You're so focused on this person, why they don't want you, why they're not there, why they're doing deceitful things. Um, that it's taking away from who you are naturally as a person. It's affecting you at a very soul heart level. Um, and what I would say is this person is at the point where they're, they're, they're moving on. Um, and the fact that they're moving on is really hurting you, Taurus. And I, I can see that it's a difficult position to be in, but this, this reading works two ways. This Five of Cups is all about you recognizing what you have, Taurus, what you have left to give, and how strong you actually are. And I know sometimes um, we get tired of being strong because it seems like the same cycle. You know, we, we start to get what we want, and then as soon as we get what we want, it turns into something else, and it just kind of snowballs into a negative situation. Um, but this queen right here, um, it's not that she's a bad person, but these two swords cards, you have three swords cards in this reading, and they're all very connected. And you have this queen of swords, this five of swords, and this five of swords is basically saying this person did not have your best interest at heart. Um, not a bad person, but somebody who logically felt like this person I, I would say has a different understanding of the world and their understanding of the world is all based in logic where yours is all based in the heart um, they're someone that uh, was going to put themselves first so they weren't being very honest with you Taurus and now you're at the point where you weren't you weren't being honest either. I I will go out on a limb and say that um, you weren't being honest either. Um, but you're hurt, and they are now trying to pass out of your life in a sense. And because of that, you look back and there and there's some regrets there, Taurus. There's there's some regrets um, for you in terms of the last relationship you had. Now, in the past. This is the Ace of Cups, right? So that means that there was love there, but the Ace of Cups came out in reverse. And what happens when you tip a cup upside down? All the water falls out, all the emotion falls out. So all of the love that you had was real love. But unfortunately, it fell out of the cup. You know, those two cups that you had here, they spilled over. Something happened in your relationship that just is kind of making it impossible to go back to. And you know that, and you are actually planning on starting over in the future. Because this Three of Wands is all about you taking the next step to build that foundation to get to a possible new relationship. But at the same time, you're still feeling, feeling very stuck um, emotionally. So Taurus, you're a very playful sign, you're a very fun sign. Um, but when you when you are really involved in something, when you're really involved with someone, you're very loyal and you stick to things. Um, and for you, this is a difficult position to be in because you're looking to start over. You know that the relationship is over, but at the same time, it's still causing you grief and you're still stuck. Um, you're, you're one foot in the door, one foot out the door, and you're wondering if the love is really gone or if there's something that can be done about it. But with the Ace of Cups in reverse, it is actually really gone, especially with the Ace of Cups being in the past. And this Three of Wands in the immediate future asking you sometime to really put all of your concentration into 
creating this new vibration for yourself and starting over. It's going to be all about you creating this. It's all about you saying, you know what, I am open to new ventures. Because directly after the Three of Wands is the Four of Wands, which is a foundation of a relationship with someone else. Um, now, this is the card that's representing you this month, Taurus. It's the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords, no easy way to put this, but it is the Heartbreak card. Now, you did get it in reverse, so that's a positive because it means that it's starting to pass. This Five of Swords um, relationship where you have, you know, these two cards where it's like, I'm going to do whatever it takes um, to get this person back or... This, I'm going to lie to this, um, I'm, they're going to lie to you instead of being honest with you. Um, you're probably also getting ignored, Taurus, which I know can um, be a difficult place to be in. When you're not getting the response that you want to get from somebody. But these two cards put together are not, are not good news in terms of what this person has to offer you in a relationship. And it's not just about you, it's about them. Um, it's about who they are to you. Now, it doesn't mean, like I said, that they just are, are terrible. But what it does mean is some mixes don't work properly. Some people we don't know how to give ourselves to completely. And for whatever reason, although this was a very fun relationship, it was very fun, it looks like. Um, a lot of love, a lot of play. A lot of being able to give the light-hearted part of ourselves the deeper part of ourselves there were secrets there were things there that um, weren't properly communicated in the beginning and then it got to a point where it was out of control um, there was probably cheating there was probably lies there was probably some sort of major disconnect that stopped you from getting the relationship that you wanted and deserved so with that being said your whole thing is this three of swords you're in the right position because it's going to pass it's probably going to be those last strong moments where you're caught in this emotion of it all um, and also taurus you could get some news about this particular partner that may hurt you um, this particular partner may have moved on you might find out about it um, something may be happening with their family or um, they they may be doing something they may have some sort of endeavor that you were originally a part of that now you're no longer a part of in terms of work and finances and maybe they cut you out in some sort of way um, but I feel like you want this person in your life you're still a little bit cold you're still a little bit turned off but at the same time you know that you how you felt about them in the past and you're still kind of processing it trying to get past it but it hasn't been easy but this this three these two threes are actually right next to each other so they're both very strong and what they're trying to do is they're trying to push you in a new direction um, this one is holding you back, this one is moving you forward, and it's really going to be important, you know, which one you decide to pay attention to, because everybody's going to do something different. Taurus, if you're in a place where you can really drive this three of wands, start some new endeavors, go to work on yourself, um, and, and, you know, this might be diet and exercise, this might be starting a new business, this might be, um, correcting your relationships with your family and making them um, into something better. This might be you dating and going out there and starting over again. Um, but it is the beginning of passion. It is the beginning of something new. Now, the place that your partner sh is actually in, um, the person that you're thinking about, they're in a good space. Um, so this is letting me know that they're in a place where they have the things that they want and they need. So right now, it's going to be kind of difficult for them to come back. And I know that some people are hoping that they'll still come back. And that heartbreak with this Three of Swords in reverse um, is still driving you instead of this Three of Wands. So you kind of want to accept the fact that this person isn't as good for you as you might have thought that they were um, and allow that to pass because 
this ten of pentacles is basically saying that this person is living their life in a really major way. Um, they are, they're happy. They have what they need. Um, the, a, a Ten of Pentacles card is all about family. It's about tradition. Um, you might even be with somebody who, this might be a relationship um, where, you know, they were already in a relationship and now they're with their family or with their spouse and they're back um, trying to work things out with their spouse instead of being in a relationship with you and you're kind of left sitting there holding the bag wondering why. Um, it could be a situation where you and your significant other broke up a while ago and now you're in a position where they're in a new relationship and they're happy and you're wondering, you know, why? But it's not that the feelings weren't there. It's just that you needed two different things. And the fact that you needed two different things didn't allow for honesty to be number one in the relationship. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards for you for your outcome and see what you get this month, Taurus. Okay. So you had two cards, three cards actually fly out. So, Taurus, this is the hope, right? This is the Knight of Swords. He actually came out first. Um, and the Knight of Swords is somebody that charges in and takes over. So the hope is that this Queen of Swords is going to revert back to who they were in the past when they were with you and come charging back into your life um, and just take over and say, it's you, it's always been you, it's you that I want. Um... But the reality of the situation is that they've let go. Um, this is the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles in the upright position talks all about holding on, right, when we're holding on to things. So this is saying that you've been holding on to things and you're hoping they're holding on to things. Um, but when it's in the reverse, it's basically saying both of you are now in a position where you can let go. Both of you are now in a space where this is no longer serving you. Um, and there's also a possibility that this person wasn't as magnificent as you thought they were. So please keep that in mind, Taurus, because this page of swords is all about communication. Now, this might actually mean that you talk to this person. But when you talk to this person, they're going to say, I'm moving on. We're not, we're not going to re-enter that space because it was a negative space. I'm moving on with this Four of Pentacles in reverse. Um, so I know that's a difficult place to be in, Taurus. Um, hopefully you're in a space of acceptance and you can carry that Three of Wands um, proudly and be happy to move on with your life. Um, it can be frustrating, but like I said, don't cry over spilled milk. Just let it go. You have a lot of potential and a lot to offer. And there is definitely love. And this is just a process. So you are going to actually have what you need and desire. It's still very much an option. It's just the person that's no longer an option. So I'm going to show you your cards really quick. And I want to say thank you guys for um, subscribing to my channel and also liking and commenting. I, I read them and it's really great to hear. So here are your cards for the month. I'm going to go ahead and show you. And I want to say thank you guys. So these are your outcome cards. Now, Taurus, um, just try not to be so hard on yourself this month. That's what's most important. Um, try to remember that you're the prize. And that really is true. So thank you so much, Taurus.